What's up everybody, this is Leon and today we're going to be looking at uh, another Windows quick tip. Today it is searching for for updates. Um, have you ever tried to check for updates and couldn't find where to do that? And you, you type check for updates in your search bar and it doesn't pop up? Well, we're going to we're gonna uh, remedy that right now. Um, there are two ways of going about it. And this is what I mean. You click on your search bar down there, or your search icon, and you click check for updates. And this is what you get. And you try to look in the folders, and it's not there in display. And you look in, you look in uh, update and security, and it's not there. You can't see. And you try to go to advanced options, it's not there either. So there are two ways to find out why this is happening. One way is in the uh, group policy editor. So we type in GP edit and it says edit group policy. We click on that and you get this window here. I'm going to maximize it for you and pull this over. So what we want to do is we want to go to administrative templates. We want to go there and then we want to go to control panel. We want to double click setting settings page visibility. So we double click that and as you can see, it's enabled. And in options, it says to hide the Windows update. And that's what's causing our problem. So in order to get to the Windows updates, you would just delete that. You would disable the setting. You click OK. And now let's try to get to our Windows updates. Let's see, let's type in check for updates. And voila, it goes straight to our Windows Update page. Now let's go back. Let's go back. I'm going to close this window. And let's put that back how we found it. Okay, we're going to enable it. And we're going to type hide and put a colon. Windows, no space, update. Okay. So now, uh oh, I'm always misclicking. Okay, so now we're going to type check for updates again. And we're back to square one. Dag nabbit. So there's another way to do this, and that's by going to the registry editor. So let's type in red edit. And I'm leaving group policy open, the, the policy editor open as well. To show you something else, um, let's see, reg edit. And then there's a registry editor. Okay, so the path starts in H key local. The path starts at H key local machine. It goes to software and it goes to Microsoft. From Microsoft, we need to go to Windows. Going down to Windows, and after Windows, you go to current version. All right, from current version. You got to get to the policy. Go down to policies and inside Explorer, you got your settings visibility page and it says hide Windows Update. So, in here, all you have to do is double click on the string and delete that out of there. Click OK. And let's try to get to the Windows updates now. and we can get there again okay so now i want you to notice something i'm going back to the group policy editor it's still enabled here and it's still set in the options here but you click ok and you can still get to the check for updates that's because the registry edit overrides the group policy editor all right so we have to go back to registry edit settings page and just the same way, same same uh, code, hide windows update. Don't forget the colon, hide colon windows update. Click OK. It shows us it's doing it again. And I gotta close that. Okay, we try getting in there again. And we're back to square one. All right, let me show you one more thing. 
the group policy editor actually creates the registry edit when you enable this. So, so if we go down here, we delete that and we disable this and we will notice that in the registry edit, if we hit F5 to refresh, that string is gone. Okay. But look what happens when we go back to, I'm back in group policy again, double clicking, I'm going to enable and hide it again. And as I click OK, we will see in the registry editor, see no, no, um, no string. I'm hitting F5 and it returns. So you see it's created by the group policy editor. Okay. Now there are multiple, there are multiple, well, you could pretty much do this with any setting, not just check for updates. And I will provide a link in the description to show you how to, to show you what all of those are. Um, it has a list of features that you can hide or show or show only. And um, yeah, if you want to get real specific about what you can see on your computer, you don't want your kids getting into stuff. You don't want people getting into things that they have no business messing with that's how you hide them you can make it so that they can only see certain things uh here let me show you like when if you have windows updates and you want to do a whole list you can put a i'm sorry you could put a semicolon behind it and put the next thing maybe you maybe you don't want their display or something like that maybe you don't want the display feature to show you don't want them changing their display up or whatever you can put that in there as well and those are the two ways that you handle uh, changing features in Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to tap that notifications bell for um, updates as to when I'm going to or when I post a new video. In the meantime, God bless. I'm not Russell Simmons. God bless and good night. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Yes. Peace out.